Welcome to part two for how to TIG weld aluminum. Today's episode, I'm gonna go over how I practice TIG welding aluminum. So if you missed it already, be sure to jump back to the first episode. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, the link is in the description right below. I definitely recommend you go back and check that one out first. We went over all the machine settings. We went over how to put together my torch properly and basically what I do to get ready to uh, run a couple exercises to practice TIG welding. Like I said, for anybody that does not know who I am, uh, if you missed it in the first episode, my name's Dusty. This is my channel. It's called Pacific Arc TIG Welding. I really appreciate you stopping by today. And today we're gonna do exercise number two. This is the fun one. We're gonna do the claw. So the claw, like I said, I'll show it on screen right now. It's a little pattern that I carve on the piece of aluminum plate. The aluminum plate has been cleaned and all ready to go, but boom, there it is. It's a cool little shape. But basically the exercise is this. We're gonna start with a weld profile that's gonna be a lot hotter. And then we're gonna finish on a small piece of plate that's a little bit tricky to control. And we're gonna finish nice and cool and controlled. We're gonna look for proper weld profile. We're gonna look for proper weld cleanliness. And that's about it. So if you, again, if you haven't seen part one of the series uh, I'm doing right now, this is part two you're watching. So jump back to part one, it's in the description below. But other than that, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna set up here. I'm basically gonna use the exact same settings. Uh, this is the same thickness of plate. 3 sixteenths of an inch thick, which is about four or so, four and a half millimeters thick. All I'm gonna do is start out heavy on the wide side here, so probably do a three-stepper. I'll probably stop about halfway, and we'll take a look at it, but uh, we'll just see how I'm feeling. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there to see how she comes out. But again, I recommend practicing this one, because this one is fun, so let's give it a whirl. Here I go. Okay, arms are nice and comfortable here. I can see everything pretty well, so let's go ahead and weld her up. All right, let's take a look at that real quick and see how it turned out. So this thing is smoking hot, but you can see right there, that kind of was uh, exactly what we're looking for. We're following the profile of the line that I described there. Uh, I had just switched to a two-step weave uh, on that last path there. So I'm gonna basically continue two-step to about, let's say about here, and then I'll switch to single and finish it off. But again, this thing is smoking hot now, so I'm gonna have to be compensating huge at the end here. Keep an eye on my foot pedal, what I'm doing for heat, and then uh, watch how I finish it off. So again, nice and comfortable. I can see everything really well. Let's get uh, ready and burn the rest of this one off here. Here we go.
Oh man, almost perfect. <laughs> I spotted something right off the beginning that I don't like, but that's all right, we'll take a look at it now. Okay, so overall this turned out not too bad. There was one thing that drives me nuts about it. <laughs> Let's see if you could pick it out. Where is it? Can you spot it? Ding, 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 ding. Right there, I gapped out. I lost my count of how far I was stepping in between each one. I was basically readjusting the heat because the heat was overflowing from this plate by the time I got to the end here. So I was dropping amperage totally like fast when it was coming through this part right here. And then I lost my spacing. I dipped out and I left this guy. I left too much gap in between that guy and that guy, but that's all right. Because overall the exercise was to follow a profile and follow it with relatively wetted edges. Honestly, if I was running a thicker plate with a little more room to let the heat sag out a little bit, I would have tried to correct these little ins and outs here that you can see here and there. But overall, the edges are wetted into the plate properly. We don't have any actual cold lap or anything really severe overhanging the edge, especially along the end here. You can see the wetted line was nice and straight, which is good. Here as well, the, the wetted edge is pretty much straight and wetted in really well, so I'm happy with that. Overall, my puddle spacing was relatively consistent through here. When I switched to two-step, relatively consistent to here. I definitely would crowd these guys together a little tighter, not leave so much space in between them. That's when you'll tend to get uh, get rid of a lot of the ins and outs on the, the, the corner profile there. But that's all good. It's a practice piece. So once we got towards the end, again, I lost my count, lost my, I miscalculated my distance in here a little bit, but it's all good. We finished off relatively good. Considering this plate was screaming hot at the end, uh, I think it turned out not too bad. So regardless, it's just a practice piece. We're just having some fun on this one. So there you go. So again, like I said, these are practice pieces. We're just goofing around having some fun in here today. So what I wanna do is issue a challenge. I want you to tag me on Instagram, do one of these two exercises or do both if you wanna be a go-getter. Show me how you're practicing. Show me how they turn out. I don't care if it looks like garbage. Just show me that you watched my video, enjoyed it, and wanted to give one of these two exercises a try. So again, tag me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is right there. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, uh, it's a great way to get a hold of me. You can leave comments on these YouTube videos. I will read them, but I don't reply to everybody because there's, uh, it's a bit too fast and furious. I can't keep up with the YouTube comments. People who hit me up on Instagram, especially through direct message, I will get your messages and I will hit you back, for now at least. But there's your challenge. So give one of these two exercises a try. These are for fun. I don't care if you look at them and say they're not up to a code or a structure or whatever. These are for fun. Uh, matter of fact, this curvy one here with the trippy shape on it, I do that to warm up for my art projects. Art projects are completely just for fun. So. Again, like I said, just find some settings, find some clean plate, put some tunes on and uh, try and run some welds and have some fun with it. But again, if you enjoyed this episode, I encourage you, jump back, check out the other ones on my channel. If you would like, subscribe and share my videos, I would really, really appreciate that. It helps my channel grow. The more people that watch these videos, the more videos I'll end up making. So again, a thumbs up right down below, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, I would really, really appreciate that. And again, if you don't subscribe to my channel already, I'd appreciate that if you did that too. But again, if you watch all the way to the end, I respect the hell out of you. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, another challenge I issue uh, every episode lately is just do something nice for a stranger, a random act of kindness. Uh, if you see someone uh, putting the wheel on their car back on, <laughs> pull over and help them out. Uh, even just write something nice for a uh, complete stranger on Instagram. Just do something nice, spread some positivity uh, out there. We need it right now. And that's especially what my channel is all about, positivity in the welding community. So again, I hope you enjoyed this one. I really, really appreciate it if you watch all the way to the end. If you have any ideas for episodes or things you'd like to see, drop it in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. Uh, again, check out my website. My website is right there. I do a TIG welding blog on there. I have an image gallery of all my art pieces on there as well as well as my online training program where I teach people how to TIG weld online by distance. That's a blast. I've been doing it for a while now uh, with some students and the students in it currently are doing really, really well. I'm stoked. Regardless, I just appreciate everybody watching. Do something nice for a stranger today and we'll talk to you all soon. Peace.